Okay, um, how to derive the demand curve. Okay, so first step. Okay, we're gonna draw out the budget constraints. Okay, and the indifference curve. Okay, uh, you should be familiar with this. Okay, x, y. Okay, budget constraint. I O over P X O. I O over P Y O. P X O over P Y O. Okay, and uh, indifference curve. Okay, this point A over here. So the first step, okay, decrease the price of X. Okay, what this is going to do is, it's going to shift my budget constraint outwards because I have a higher real income in terms of X. X. Okay, next step. Okay, identify the substitution effect under the Hicksian definition of real income. Okay, parallel line tangent to the indifference curve. Here, point C. Okay, next step. Okay, uh, I don't have a pencil, but never mind. Okay, we draw a vertical line up at point C. All right, and now we will identify the new point B. Okay, if the new point B lies on this side of the new budget constraint okay it's going to be a normal good why because uh real income has increased okay um if you are unsure about this check back on the substitution effect versus income effect video if i go this way okay it will be an inferior good okay so now b can lie on three different parts okay it can lie here where it's a normal good okay we call it b n it can lie here okay we call it BI is an inferior good, and if we lie beyond point uh, A here, okay, it would be a given good. Can we lie here? Cannot, nah, okay, because indifference curves cannot intersect. Alright, now we go on to actually derive the demand curve by itself. Right? Okay, um, what we need to do is we need to expand this graph downwards. Okay. Okay, um, apparently this is called a vertical, I don't know, uh, comparative analysis or something like that. Okay, so the x-axis has to remain the same, okay, it is uh, quantities of x, and the y-axis you can change, change it to price. Okay, can you see? Okay, alright, so now we know that initially the price was uh, PXO, okay, so you label this here, okay, then the price dropped, okay, the price dropped to PX1. Alright, we start with PXO first. So from PXO, initially we were at point A over here. Okay, I got one mistake. Okay, I didn't label the initial bundle. So okay, I minus mark, okay? Yeah. Initially he'll be at this point. Okay, so this is point A. Now point B there are so many different possibilities. Okay. Um I will use black okay to identify the first one okay let's say that b lies at this point okay it's a normal good okay so what you do is you bring this down okay bring this across so you got another point b normal good right then you draw your demand curve there demand curve if it's a normal good what if b lies here and it's an inferior good okay we do the same thing vertical line down is at PX1 over here. There. Inferior good. Okay, what if it's a given good? Okay, same thing from here. Try to line down. Alright. Got this new point over here. Um, B, if it's a given good. And you draw the line across. There you go. Demand curve for given good. Okay, so. In less than five minutes, we have found out how to derive the demand curve. Okay, just by simply, okay, uh, first step, okay, draw out your initial setup. Second step, reduce the price of X. Next step, identify your substitution effect. Okay, next step, identify which side is normal good, which side is inferior good. Okay, after that, you start to bring your points down onto this graph here. Okay, um, as in coming soon, uh, okay, all must chong.